Hello there, how are you? And welcome to part two of the 110 volt mini split install. All right, so the first thing that I am doing here is installing the little adapter that is necessary on these mini splits to vacuum them down. The other thing is these are just twist on. There is no wrench that you can put on there. So get a good pair of pliers or channel locks. And when you put this on, tighten it down with the pliers or the channel locks. Hand tight is not gonna cut it. You'll end up not having the vacuum work properly. All right. So the yellow attaches to your pump and then you're gonna take the vent cap off of your pump right here and make sure you put it someplace you don't lose it. That way once you're done, you can put the cap back on there and it'll keep your oil in there nice. I don't know why I'm using stupid electrical pliers, but you're gonna go ahead, open your blue line up, and then you're gonna tighten down these connections. Again, if you don't put a pair of pliers or channel locks on it, you won't get a good vacuum. So that was just being a dork. <laughs> All right, so the blue line's attached up top. It's tightened down. We're coming down here where I put that adapter on, and we're going to tighten this down. And again, get your channel locks on it or your pliers on it. Don't over tighten it, but make sure you get that good and snug because this is at a pretty high high pressure that you're going to be dealing with. And again, like a dork, use the right tool for the job. This got it done, but yeah, channel locks would have been so much easier. And I went and got channel locks later on. So once you have the yellow attached to the pump and the blue attached to your adapter, turn it on and just let it vacuum it down and you're going to let it vacuum for 15 minutes. Initially it won't move because it'll have so much air and stuff that it's vacuuming out of it, I'm assuming. Once that 15 minutes is up, you're going to go ahead and turn your pump off and just watch your gauge for another 15 minutes. You don't want that needle to move off of that 30, negative 30 millimeters of mercury or whatever the heck it is and as long as that holds then you know that you do not have any leaks and the needle's holding strong and the little timer's going off so righty tighty you turn the blue off the red's already off now you're just going to go down and disconnect it from the AC. We'll come back to the line set and everything, get that all out of the way later on. Go ahead and make sure you put your cap back on this right away. Don't mess around and lose it or have contaminants get in there. Go ahead and put the wrench on it and snug it down, not over tight again. Now you're going to open up those two front, and I had already loosened them with the adjustable wrench. You're going to take them off, and again, setting them someplace that it's not going to be full of sand or whatever. And the first line you're going to open is the smaller line of the two. Now I'm not sure if you could hear that little hiss going on. That was the Freon releasing and moving up through the system. I opened it all the way up and then I just, just ever so slightly, instead of having hard pressure on it, pulling it out, um, like maybe a 30 second of a turn back. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. That's like an old plumber's trick. So if I end up having issues later on, I'll know I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Finishing opening this all the way up. And again, I, I gave it like a, maybe a 30 second of a turn back. I just didn't want it hard seated open. I was just kind of worried about the gasket like you would with a, a water line. Once that's done, before you go and do anything else, get these back on there. 
That way you don't inadvertently forget to come back and do one of the steps. Come on. <laughs> Alrighty, now that we have it, it is time to put the batteries in the remote. Now the remote on these mini splits, they are your thermostat. So number one, don't lose it because if you lose it, you lost your thermostat. And the other thing is, it is your control. As you see, hit the power button, came on, and this is standing out beside it with the camera right down beside it. It is that quiet. Now, on the flip side, this is my air handler for my house. The actual AC for my house, I should say. How loud that is in comparison. Now it's just a matter of cleaning everything up and getting everything put away. And again, I purchased the compressor and the line set, the uh, special mini split fittings there that you see me with, all from Amazon. It was actually a, a, probably about half the price it would have cost me to have my AC guy come out and do this. And then that's just a quick look at the adapters that I used on it. And this bag, I mean, everything goes right in the bag and stores it nicely. Alrighty then, there you have it, y'all. 110 mini split installed. I've got the uh, line set plastic cover coming and I'll get that covered up, but there it is. Thanks for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day. Take care.